So somebody was asking me um, questions about meditating. Now listen guys, there are a whole bunch of different ways to meditate. Um, there's countless of them on YouTube and uh, you just on the internet, all kinds of things to help you. Uh, music, binaural beats, um, Tibetan singing bowls, uh, nature, sounds of waves and rain. And there's just a whole bunch of them. Uh, you might be able to meditate uh, listening to EDM music, uh, that trance music that they have. So the, the problem with a lot of what humans have been teaching is that there is a way to do things. And that is just incorrect. There isn't a way to do anything. There's not even a way to do it for yourself. Because depending upon your mood or what stress level you're at or, or um, basically what frequency you're on, it will depend on which way will work for you. And it can change. So let's say uh, you've had a really stressful day. So the first step of your meditative practice would be a long, hot bubble bath with, of course, natural bubbles, with incense, with candles. That's step one of meditative practice. That's starting to slow your brain down. Okay? So, and then you go to the next and the next. And maybe it's a, a yoga. Maybe it's tai chi. Maybe it's a jazzercise. Maybe it's... A, um, karaoke, singing, singing to yourself. Who knows? Maybe it's playing an instrument. Maybe it's petting your, your animal. It's not a one thing, so don't make it all um, holy and ooh ooh ish Don't do that. All you're trying to do is center yourself. All you're trying to do is shut that mind down. All you're trying to do, ultimately, is to relax. So however you need, whatever you need to use to get you to relax, relaxation, you keep on going and keep on going, and that's meditation. I don't know why they use, you know, I don't have words for what I need, and then I've got uh, too many words for or things that one word would work for. So uh, I, don't, I don't know why somebody's using the word meditate. Why not just say deeply relaxed? Uh, instead of making this other word. I don't understand it because I don't understand this game. But ultimately, that's what you're trying to do. Because if you relax enough, deeply enough, completely enough, then you will uh, be able to access the all-knowingness, unity consciousness, the all that is. I told you in another video that channeling happens all the time, that a great artist or uh, is channeling uh, from the other side. Well, you can also uh, be in a meditative state and dance and paint and scientifically invent something. Very little difference between those two things. Except in one case, you are accessing the information from you directly up that you, 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 a part of the all it is. And the other way is you're kind of going, you, okay, we're going to jump over here. And that's my uh, definition of channeling. That you're going outside of that lineage, that uh, me, higher self, higher self, higher self, higher self, higher self, source, all that is. Or if you're going, me, higher self, jump over here. To another entity and um, learn or obtain the ability to do this or that. That's the difference. But ultimately, whether you're channeling or whether you're meditating, whether or not you're super relaxed and slowing down your mind so that your mind can get out of the way so that your intuition will 
just take you there. Then it's just real simple. Before you start all that, you just see yourself um, going wherever you want to go. Do you want to go where you were right before you came here? Do you want to uh, go in and merge with the all that is and have all the answers? Uh, I don't know why you would do that. Trust me, uh, you can't bring it back with you. So uh, I would suggest you go for something a little bit more specific. But hey, whichever way you want to do it is fine. But the meditative state is simply relaxation. The more relaxed you are and the more you uh, stop using your brain, your thinking brain, uh, judging things, getting ego in the way, as soon as you take all that stuff out and quiet things down, if you're not worried about tomorrow, if you're not living in fear, if you're not judging yourself or others, if you're doing all those things and you go into a meditative state, then it's very easy for you to find the answers that you're looking for. But if you're busy worrying about what's going on tomorrow, or worried about what President Trump is doing, what he's signing, worried about whether or not somebody's going to send a bomb over, worry about whether or not uh, your child is getting bullied at school, worried about whether or not you're going to be able to make the house payment this month, worried about whether or not you're, you're going to get fired. If you're busy worrying about everything, if you're busy judging President Trump on the excuse me, bad choices that you think he's made, if you're busy um, judging your significant other because they didn't do what you, they didn't remember to do what you asked them to do today. You see, a lot of that stuff that's running around in your head can probably be attributed to one of the things that I'm asking you to really work and stop doing. So if, if you, you've got to stop and look at those things that are running in your head, so that'll slow it down somewhat if you stop and look at them. So unless instead of being running around there crazily, haphazardly, uh, you start looking at them, then you can analyze them. You can go, okay, well, if I'm going to use my head, let's I'm going to use it in a good way. So let's stop that thought. Okay, there it is, stop. All right, so what is that thought? Am I in fear or worry with that thought? Okay, if I am, I can throw that one out. Don't need to mess with that one anymore. We are out of fear and worry. We don't do that anymore. We are creator gods. We got this. So you go back and you try to do your own. And uh, some other thought comes screaming by. And you grab it. And you stop it. And you look at it. If you're worried about the political system or whether or not... Uh, the dollar is going to fail, then uh, you've got two things going there. You've got worries and judgment, fear and judgment. So the first one, you were in 3D. The fourth, the second round, you're in 3M, 4D, vacillating back and forth between fear and judgment. You stop and look at it and you go, oh, fear, oh, judgment, oh, no. I'm going to 5D. We are all creator gods. It is none of my business what everybody else is doing. I simply am going to worry about me, and I'm the only one that can do it. Nobody can mess with me. I'm in charge. I'm responsible for my creationary process, my life. Nobody can interfere with me. I can't interfere with anybody else. So, don't need to worry about anything because I'm a creator god. I am a god. Kind of gets rid of all the fear and worry at that point. Now the judgment part, oh, none of my job, none of my business, what they're doing over there. Yeah, because this was all created uh, today uh, by my sending out frequencies and vibrations yesterday, so this isn't relevant to me. It's not relevant. So what in the world, why in the world, the only thing that's relevant to me is why in the world did I go to a timeline where it looks like President Trump has done a horrible thing? Why in the world did I do that? Silly me, Creator God. Visualization, new visualization. President Trump is an awesome guy, and he we are so lucky that he is the President of the United States right now. Everything is just falling into place 
place around the world. There is more peace than I have ever remember seeing anywhere. All I see is news article after news article about people helping other people. This is magnificent. This is exactly the kind of thing that I'm looking for as I head for, to 5D. And if you don't find that, if you're looking around and you see horrible things, horrible people, horrible events, well, guess whose fault that is? Yep, you got it. It's your fault. It's your fault. Because you're the only one that can create your experience. Nobody else can interfere with it. So you're going to timelines where horrible things are happening. Okay. So if you want to go to 5D and you look around and you see horrible things happening and you want to go to 5D and you're a creator God and you're responsible for your creation, okay, you're not doing a very good job. So don't worry about judging somebody else. Don't worry about being in fear. Got rid of fear, remember? Creator God, one word, I can move mountains. No big deal. One thought, I can create universes. I am a god. Okay? Fear's gone. Now i got to come over here, and it's not a matter of judgment. It's a matter of assessing what you are perceiving. So if you look out in the world and you're perceiving it as a as President Trump, Trump being horrible, that somebody's going to drop the bomb, that the bottom's going to fall out of the... Of the money market well you have gone to that timeline so therefore that's your responsibility so you assess that and you say okay well that is I'm not interested in this so no I'm not gonna pay any attention to any of that I didn't do quite the job that I meant to do I didn't go to the timelines I had meant to so I must get sidetracked somewhere so let's try this again Alrighty then, so I see Gaia with crisp, beautiful, clean air and water. The beans all over the planet are, are getting along in, in deliciously wonderful ways. People are starting to report seeing fairies and unicorns and oh, oh my gosh, it's just wonderful. That's exactly the kind of thing that I'm looking for. And oh, what was that in the flicker of my eye? Kind of sparkly, very fast. Felt just a shiver, but it was a shiver of of delight. What was that? Oh, I just asked, and there was an answer in the back of my head. Something in the back of my head said, well, that was a fairy. That was me talking to me. Now I'm on the right track. Go deeper into that meditative state, that place that you're in now. Like I've said before, the past is not relevant. It's over with. According to your belief systems, you cannot get back there and don't try. It's a waste of time. <clears throat> it's a waste of time. If you're going to 5D, the last thing you want to do is to go back in time. Because all of you were in 3D if you go back in time. So you're not interested in going back in time. So there is absolutely no reason at all to look at the past at all. None. You can look out at the present and assess how you're doing. You, the creationary God. And I can have a conversation with you, but unless you are having a conversation with me that, that sounds a lot like you would not believe what I saw the other day. I saw this young man assisting this elderly man, blah, 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 fill in the blanks. And then right after it, just one right after the other, I just kept seeing magnificent, wonderful things occurring. Then I dreamed. I had this dream, and oh, oh, Naya, the, the earth was, was so beautiful and pristine. That's the conversation that I want to have with you. That's the conversation I want us to have together. Because the more of us that are together, that are visualizing that 5D place, it makes us a stronger frequency to take us all to those timelines. And I want you guys 
to be talking about that kind of thing, not worried about whether or not you would stop a serial killer or not. I don't want you talking about um, uh, somebody who, you know, how you're going to deal with it if your best friend died tomorrow. Those are all what-if situations that certainly could happen, but aren't we all trying to go to 5D here? I am. That's what this channel is for. To talk to people who are specifically trying to go move fast through the frequencies, primarily to get to 5D. But I will also pick up people that are moving fast through the frequencies, and then they may stop and peel off in 4D. Okay. But that's what I'm trying to get you all to, to uh, talk to me about, each other about. That meditative state that you're getting to, you're, you're making it much harder than it needs to be because it simply is a point of relaxation. Clearing your mind, take a deep breath, count to 10. Do whatever it is that makes you relaxed. Then start thinking about where you're going. If it's in 4D, then start visualizing the kind of 4D place you want to go to. If it's 5D, 5D, start visualizing the kind of place 5D will be. Once you get to 5D and you're within time and space, do you want to stay on Earth or are there 5 and up D places that you would like to go visit? There really has been enough conversation uh, uh, really, I know you guys have had traumas, and you know I have had traumas. But what I'm here to tell you now is, for me, and it may not be the way it is with you, but for this group, the way to deal with traumas is to accept them for what they were. You are a creator God, and whether you meant to or not, you are the one that created them. And that some layer of you, some higher self, higher self, higher self, had them done, agreed to that situations for a reason that you will one day understand. But because you trust yourself, you know that you're a creator God, you know that you're in partial state of amnesia, remembering more and more and more, you know that someday you'll remember it all and you'll go, oh, of course, how did I forget that? I remember, oh, oh yeah. And as creator gods, stopping and worrying about the past and the traumas will not get you to 5D. Accepting that you are a creator god, that nobody did anything against your will, that you created it consciously or unconsciously, even if you created it unconsciously, I guarantee you there's a higher self that will take that and make that event an advantage somewhere down the road for you or for someone else you agreed to interact with. So now what I'm trying to encourage you guys to do is to draw on your art and your singing and your uh, our friendships and nature and visualize where you want to go. Start believing that you are the creator God that I know that you are. And start creating towards that end. And I know it's tough whenever you've got to get up every day and go to work with a boss you can't stand and you're not making enough money and the bills are late. I get that. But the only way that you're going to get out of that is to stop looking at it. Because as long as you're looking at it, you're just going to keep rec recreating it and keep recreating it. Now, like I've told you before, you can uh, get out of it by vision boarding and visualizing and meditating for a new job. More money. Winning the lotto. Finding that perfect mate. 
But all of those things are very 3, 4D based things. So really, if you want that kind of thing, you probably, seriously, you probably would do better to follow someone else. Because I, I've told you guys before, 3D, 4D, not where I have my strength. It is not where my, uh, my experience is. My experience is. I'm pretty much the person that is going from deep, darkest 3D, zooming to 5D pretty fastly, pretty fast, not looking right or left. That's who I'm here for. And when you do it that way, and you know that in 5D, we all are aware that we are a part of the one. that we love ourselves and everything around us, that we understand how this stuff works back and forth, that we can continue in 5D step outside of time space, go back to where we came from, and you can spend your time on, on, uh, oops, excuse me. You can spend your time on trying to get to 5D like me, or because I'm, I'm skipping right over the, okay, I don't have enough money today, so I'm going to visualize a better job for and uh, $10,000 in a bank account next year. I'm skipping right over that. I'm going straight through 4D, not looking right or left, and visualizing, expecting, remembering 5D and above Earth. And there's a good chance I might even hang around there in time space in 5D and above Earth for a while. Maybe a few hundred years. I might just do that. Because it is beautiful. And I will be in this physical body. I might do that. I'm going to wait until I get there and then decide which direction I'm going to go. But I am not, uh, you know, I, I am organized and methodical. It's my Germanic heritage. And to me, I have no interest in... Um, finding out exactly how I've dealt with the trauma in a moment-to-moment -moment setting when I can simply turn around and say, this is a game. I'm a creator God. Nothing was done against my will. I create everything. I can do it better. The past is over. Move on. That's how I dealt with the, that's how I deal and dealt with the trauma. Just like that. Done. All of it's done. Anything that gets triggered up, I can turn around and face any trigger on any trauma on any day with those sentences. With those sentences, I also go into a sort of meditative state. Because if I've been triggered, I'm starting to ramp. So I slow that down. I go, wait a minute. You're triggered because of past trauma. But remember what I just said. Fill in the blank. And that is what... I'm going to do. So I'm not going to fix. I'm not going to go and um, get healed by a Reiki master or a faith healing preacher. I am straight into healing myself because I'm a creator God and I know I can. I'm not going to worry about accumulating a great deal of money here. When I'm going to a place that money doesn't exist. So to me, that's a waste of time. For my path, guys. For my path. Now, if you want to do it a different way, and that is fine and dandy, certainly. But um, this is where I'm going. And a lot of the people, and I think I've made it quite clear over and over, that my channel is for people who are moving quickly. Moving quickly from 3D to 5D. They may peel off somewhere in 4D. They may peel off outside of this place altogether, this creation altogether. But still, the, this channel, and I'm talking to people who are moving quickly. Quickly. So if you're more into wanting to find that love of your life, make that million dollars and really enjoy that process. Try to figure out 
how you um, resolve the trauma, then really, as I've said before, there are other channels, other people, other teachers that can teach you to do all that much better than I can. For my side, a meditative state can be obtained many different ways. It can be a, a, a silly movie with a warm glass of milk. You see, how to obtain, for you to ask me how you obtained a meditative state is, I can't help you. Because that is unique to you. You know how what makes you relaxed. You know how you go even deeper into relaxation. You know how to get yourself to stop ramping and being upset about stuff over and over. And if you don't, then that's where you need to start. You need to start in relaxing. However that needs to happen for you, you need to do level one, relax. Relax. And then you need to step it through. So don't be all caught up with um, people who have been teaching things for a long time who say, okay, you've got to go, um, you've got to have singing bowls. You've got to have a, a, a candle. No, those are just one of, mm, those are several of very, a lot of ways, a lot of ways. You can listen to somebody do, the hypnosis thing on YouTube, all different kinds of music, whatever it takes for you to relax. And then once you relax to that level, find out what gets you to relax even more. And then even more. And then even more. And then even more. And eventually when all of this judgment and fear and um, anger and... Uh, all of that stuff, when all of that stuff has been put on hold, when you don't do it, even if it's you don't do it for 15 minutes, when you've put all that stuff on hold for a few minutes, you will feel, hear, know that tiny voice inside of you that a lot of people call their, their uh, uh, what's it called? Jiminy Cricket. Conscience your conscience, that your conscience is talking to you, which it is very much like that. It's kind of in the back. Let it come, come forward, and then you can listen to it, ask it questions, and in the process, visualize the world that you want to live in without paying any attention to what the other creators or gods are doing around you, realizing that you took yourself to this timeline. So if you're seeing death and destruction, if you're hurting, if you're seeing people hurt, that means you've got a ways to go to get to 5D. And nobody can do that for you but you. Nobody can take you to 5D. They can take you to all kinds of places in 4D and they will tell you that they can. They will make it sound like uh, 4D is the top of the line. But it is far from it. The only way that you can get out, back to source, into unity, into the creationary, true creationary, consciously creationary God that you are, is by doing it yourself. Not letting someone else do it for you. So every step of the way is unique to you. So you have to find those unique ways. And when it comes to meditation... Whatever works for you, works for you. And it can be anything. Anything at all. Anything at all. Go find out what helps you relax. And then you do that. And that relaxation should take you to another layer and another layer and another layer. And as your relaxation in increases, then your ability to connect to the all that is becomes sharper and sharper and sharper more complete more easily accessed but you're going to have to do that yourself 
and you're going to have to figure out what is needed, what works for you, and don't hold that to you. If it works for you tonight, it may not work for you tomorrow night, and that's okay. That's okay. Try something else tomorrow night. And you keep trying things and keep doing them persistently, tenaciously, until you get where you want to be. That's how you do it. And y'all know that I've been through a whole lot of trauma. I'm triggered easily, and I do not stop. Every time I'm triggered, I shut it down, close it down, visualize where I'm going, and start again. And I am don't stop. I keep doing it. I keep doing it. Because the payoff is so worth it, and the alternative is in... I just can't even comprehend it. I can't do it. So there is only one option for me. And that is to keep on trying, trying, trying until I get to 5D. That's it. Okay. Hopefully that helped with the meditation issues. So, yeah, another couple of sides. Guys, I told you that we had some humans coming in. Uh, these guys are moving very fast. They uh, came into body this time with the express uh, desire to go from lower level of, of 3D to 5D, wicked fast and in a direct line. That is a uh, kind of a preset plan that they've got. So considering they're not conscious of it yet, they're not going to interfere with it. So uh, there's a good chance that they'll go screaming right by all of us because they are um, literally kind of being... You know, their body is one place and their higher self is doing other things vibrationally with them. So there's a good chance they'll go screaming right by us. But they're not here to hurt you, so don't be afraid. Why? Well, yeah, it's, it's great that they're here. Uh, it doesn't matter who they are uh, because you don't judge anybody at all. We're not afraid that they'll do anything to us because we are creator gods and we've got this now. Right? So it doesn't matter who they are, what they're doing. Because you know that this is just the most realistic video game ever. And they're just playing their game. So welcome everybody who comes in. If they don't come back, then say goodbye. Wish them all kinds of love. I did not give you that information for anybody to be afraid of them or to be able to catch them. I gave you that information so if you empaths felt something askew, then you would know that we've got uh, long, long, long-term humans coming through and they definitely feel different. You'll feel them because they're different because they're long-term humans, not because of what they've done in this lifetime. There's nobody on my channel that can identify the the things that they are doing right now or coming out of doing. No, you might be able to recognize them as long-term humans. Uh, the reason why I told you the more bad things, there are people that are doing good things too. It's just that I was fascinated. I did not see that coming. I never expected to see any of them come through here so again i told you i am fascinated i'm not afraid and i don't judge them i love them all i love them all and that's what i want you guys to do love them all say hello welcome every single one of them uh, most of them don't comment so you're never going to know who they are never yeah they they don't uh as a, i think i've had two of them comment Two different ones and they only commented once each the rest of them they don't comment at all so you'll not know who they are <clears throat> by the time you can identify them uh, you'll be really close to telepathy and uh, you you won't be looking at them like that anyway um, it, it's just uh, interesting that I did not think that we would have uh, that many really, really long-term humans and pre-humans come through this channel with our little our little 400 subscriptions that we've got. So I was quite surprised. Okay. 
All right, so uh, this is almost 35 minutes long. I think that's long enough. So I'm going to cut this out right now. Huge hugs to everybody. Love you so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oops. <laughs>